I have the good fortune to be married uh, to Carrie for the last, uh, coming up on 14 years. Well, she's just got a very deep-seated uh, belief in the equality of people, and uh, it is true to her core that everybody should have opportunities, everybody should be treated with respect, and uh, she's done everything she can in every job along her career continuum to make that happen. Carrie is a visionary. Anyone who knows Carrie knows that um, she doesn't sit still very well. Um, she is somebody who um, is constantly um, thinking big um, and she is itching to, uh, to improve things, to work harder, to think bigger, um, to go beyond what is expected um, of any role or organization that she is in. And I think she exemplifies, she has, she has exceeded um, expectations that I think even um, perhaps the most visionary people had for Colorado Mountain College and in Glenwood Springs. <clears throat> Ten years ago, Carrie came into town as the um, next president of CMC. And within a few months, we both were blessed to be able to meet her. And in the 10 years that she's been in our community, what a blessing to everyone. Um, that we've had her, nose to the grindstone, throwing caution to the wind, and making our community a better place. One of the things I love the most about Carrie is how brave she is. You know, she, sometimes she throws caution to the wind and she's willing to take um, a challenge and, and take a risk. She is now the longest serving president of Colorado Mountain College in the 60 year history of the college. But it's not time in a seat that makes somebody deserving of this award. It's what you make happen. And Carrie delivers day in and day out as if it's her first day. She is fiercely compassionate about the work that we're doing, about our communities, and what it takes to be a good partner. Some of the examples from Carrie's leadership are seen up at the Spring Valley campus, which is open obviously to our students, but the community as well. It's our new outdoor leadership center and field house, which features 14,000 square feet of an event space that's lar the largest here on the Western Slope. And then we also have a brand new 4,000 square foot high fidelity simulation lab that will help us double the number of nursing students into our community as well as our partnerships with the different hospitals in the region. Her favorite expression is, don't ever let a good crisis go to waste. So she doesn't look at things as a crisis, she looks at them as an opportunity. Therefore, she really was instrumental in um, establishing some housing at Colorado Mountain College on, on the campuses so that we could house students in apartments where they want to live on our land so we could affordably build this housing. When we decided um, that it was time for us to um, stop complaining and start doing, um, as Carrie would say, that it's um, time to stop stirring and start painting. Um, that would be a Carrieism uh, that you can share. She looks for opportunities to serve the college. She looks for opportunities to serve the people in our valleys and all the other locations of Colorado Mountain College, and there are many. Congratulations, Carrie, for being the 2023 Citizen of the Year. And I always follow her up, so congratulations, Carrie. On behalf of the college, Carrie, and your leadership team, congratulations on being named Citizen of the Year. We know it's so well deserved, and we're honored to be on your team. Carrie, congratulations on this tremendous honor. It's so well deserved. Congratulations, Carrie. I can think of no one more deserving uh, of earning this award. Um, and you um, certainly have inspired me for the better part of my entire career, but most certainly for the last 10 years. I'm at Colorado Mountain College. Congratulations. Well, uh, I want to congratulate my bride, and uh, I don't know anybody more deserving. They found the right person this year.